Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will be able to determine whether an equation is an identity or a conditional equation. So let us first look at these two groups. We have group A and group B. These are the given for group A and these are the given for group B. Let us first analyze. We both have the same given for A1 and B1, and that is x squared minus 1. Look at for A1, x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. While for B1, the given is x squared minus 1 is equal to the quantity of x minus 1 times the quantity of x plus 1. So what can we say about the two givens? Very good. The one on the left, is not true for all the values, okay? Therefore, it is only true when x is equal to, very good, plus or minus 1. So if you will be substituting here the value of x, it becomes 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. But if you will be substituting the other values of x, for example, 2, if you substitute here 2, it becomes 2 squared, which is 4, minus 1 is 3. Is 3 equal to 0? No. Therefore, it is not true for all the values of x. And for the second one, we are given x squared minus 1 is equal to the quantity x minus 1 times the quantity x plus 1. Look at this. This is x minus 1 times the quantity of x plus 1. When we have here x squared minus 1, it is difference of squares. And if you will be Factoring that out, therefore, this will be the form. Okay, so if in case we have here the value of 2, okay, this becomes 2 squared, 4 minus 1, therefore, the left side becomes 3. So again, if we have 2, this becomes 2 minus 1, which is 1, 2 plus 1, which is 3. 1 times 3 is 3, therefore, it is true to the other values of x. Okay, how about for A2? X plus 7 quantity squared? Is it equal to X squared plus 49? No, it is not equal. But there are some values that it will be equal to the left side and the right side. But not all values of X will be, will satisfy this equation. Okay, how about for the second one? What will be the expanded form of X plus 7 quantity squared? Is it x squared plus 14x plus 49? Very good. That is the expanded form of x plus 7 quantity squared. Therefore, the left side is equal to the right side. How about for A3? We are given x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 is equal to 2x minus 1. We could say here if we will be manipulating this, if we will be simplifying the left side, this is difference of squares. Okay, therefore we could say that that is x minus 1, x minus 2, that is x plus 2. Cancel out x minus 2, therefore the answer here must be x plus 2. Look at the right side. Is the answer on the right side of group B equal to x plus 2? Exactly. Therefore, group B is the same. The left side and the right side are equal. Well, for A3, it is not true for all the values of x. Therefore, we could say that group B, we have an equal left and right side. Yes, they are identical. Or in this case, we will call this as an identity. Remember that if it is an identity, the left side is equal to the right side. Or, it is called an identity if it holds for all replacements of the variables for which both sides are defined. Kung hindi naman siya na define both sides, therefore, we will now be calling this as conditional equation. So, what is a conditional equation? Conditional equation holds only for some and not for all replacements of the variables. Just like group A, it will only be true for some values of x, but not true for all the values of x. It will be an identity if it is true for all the values of x. 
If you will be substituting the values from negative infinity up to positive infinity, and the left side is equal to the right side, therefore, we could finally say that it is an identity. Okay, let's now have different examples on which we will be able to determine whether our given is an identity or conditional equation. Okay, let's try this one. Number one, x times the quantity x minus 1 is equal to x squared minus x. Is this an identity or a conditional equation? Let's try to find out. In order for us to find out, we could factor, we could distribute, we could use difference of squares, we could use addition of su or subtraction. Okay, so for this one, let's try to distribute first the left side. Let's try to manipulate the left side. x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. Is x squared minus x equal to x squared minus x? Yes. Therefore, it is an identity. So it is very simple. All you have to do is to distribute the one that is being factored out and then look at the right side if they are the same. In this case, it is an identity. For number 2, we are given x squared plus x over x squared plus 2x plus 1. Is that equal to x over x plus 1? Let's try to find out. Okay, let's manipulate this side since it contains greater terms than the, left, than the right side. Okay, so x squared plus x, what can we say? There is a common term and that common term is very good. That is x. So, factor out x and it becomes x plus 1. What can we say about the denominator now? That is x squared plus 2x plus 1. Exactly. It could be factored out. And the factor would be x plus 1 times the quantity x plus 1 or x plus 1 squared. So, I have here two factors so that um, we'll not be confused. When, can, when canceling out the common term. Therefore, we could say that x plus 1, x plus 1 is the common term, and we will cancel that out. So from this one, we could say that we'll be, we'll be having x over the quantity x plus 1. And is that equal to the right side? Do we have the same left and right side? Yes, we have the same left and right side. Therefore, we could say that this is very good. This is an identity. How about for number 3? For number 3, we are given x times the quantity x minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, let's try to distribute. This becomes x squared minus x is equal to 0. We could say that we have x squared is equal to transfer negative x to the other side. It becomes x. Is x squared equal to x? No. Therefore, we could say that this is conditional equation. Okay? This is conditional. And it is only true to some values of x. For example, if we are given here x minus x, if we are given here x times the quantity x minus 1, it will only be 0 when x is equal to 1. Okay, 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. Also, it will be 0 if x is equal to 0. 0 times negative 1 is 0. Therefore, though, um, it is not true to all values of x. It is only true to some. And if that is the case, we'll be calling that as, very good, conditional equation. And for this one, we could say that we have 3x minus 4 is equal to 2. So let's say we have 3 times 0 minus 4. 3 times 0 is 0, negative 4. Is negative 4 equal to 2? They're not equal. Okay. Is it true when x is equal to 1? Let's try. That becomes 3 times 1 minus 4. Therefore, we'll be having 3 minus 4. Is that equal to 2? Negative 1 is not equal to 2. Therefore, we could say that this is, yes, exactly. That is conditional equation. Okay?
Let's move on with the given in number 5. The given in number 5 is 1 third plus 1 over n. Is that equal to 1 over 3n? So let's try to identify whether it is identity or conditional. Let's manipulate the left side. For the left side, if you are given two fractions, might as well get the LCD. Very good. The LCD is 3n. 3n divided by 3 is n times 1 is n. 3n divided by n is 3 times 1, that is 3. Is n plus 3 over 3n equal to 1 over 3n? I don't think so. They're not equal. Therefore, we could say that this is very good. That is conditional equation. Okay, how about for number 6? We are given x squared plus 2x plus 1, and we're also given x plus 1 quantity squared. In this case, I will not anymore be manipulating the left side. So that you have an example that even though you manipulated the other side, you will get the same answer. Okay, for example, I will not anymore be using this one. I will be using the right side. For the right side, we are given x plus 1 quantity squared. Since it is squared, the quantity is being squared, might as well expand it, okay? If you are given a quantity that is being squared or it is raised to a certain power, then expand it. Okay, let's try to expand. This becomes x squared, 1x plus 1x, that is 2x. 1 times 1, that is 1. Is x squared plus 2x plus 1 equal to the left side? Yes! Therefore, we could say that this is an identity. Okay, it is very easy to identify whether it is um, an identity or a conditional equation. And for the last one, we are given here sine x. Sine of x is equal to tangent of x over secant of x. So it now deals with trigonometric um, identities. Okay, so we will be manipulating the right side since it contains more terms than the left side. Okay, let's try. Always remember that if you are given a tangent of x, tangent of x is a quotient identity that is equal to sine of x over cosine of x. While secant x, we could express this in terms of cosine by using its reciprocal that is 1 over cosine of x. Okay, since we are given a division in a fraction, let's write the numerator that becomes sine of x over cosine of x. And then multiply that to the reciprocal of the denominator since we are now using multiplication. And that becomes, very good, cosine of x over 1. Cancel cosine of x, cancel cosine of x. Therefore, it is now equal to sine x only. And that is equal to the left side. Okay. So that is how we determine whether an equation is an identity or a conditional equation. So if remember that we can only call this as an identity if it, it holds the value, if it holds all the replacement values for x from negative infinity up to positive infinity, wherein the left side is equal to the right side when you substitute those values. And we will be calling this as conditional equation if it is not true for all the values of x. Or if it is only true to sum of the values of x if you will be substituting it. Okay? So that is how we consider it as an identity or a conditional equation. Once again, I am Engineer John Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.